and welcome back to the channel that's right boosted f-150 after i don't know how many months since my last post decided to make a new post it's a quick update uh some things have changed and some new things are happening on the channel so i want to give you guys a, a little preview that's just the garage lots of little things in there to look at what do we got we have a sleeved L&M 5.2 liter. Yeah, that's my baby. Yeah, that's the, like a Whipple intake, Whipple intake. Uh, ooh. Custom. Ooh. Ooh. Suspension. Exhaust. Ooh. Supercharger. I like that. Lots of little things all packed in here. I mean, heck. Even down to the fact of any good garage that has some work being done needs some alcohol in it. <laughs> You'll need it. But uh, yeah, in the meantime, if you just saw a quick preview, you can get a full look now of our new vehicle for the channel. have us a 2024 bare bones regular cab 4x4 f-150 that we will begin to have fun with we had the luxury of picking this up in uh was it illinois and just drove it back over 800 miles that's why it's a little dirty right now when they gave it to me it was clean but 800 plus miles later Things happen. Things happen very quickly. Uh, what we got in here? Antimatter blue. Different color for me. Different color for me, but here we go. As usual, our Coyote. The F-150 Gen 4. Little bastard engine that Ford gave us. That is not modular to any other uh, <laughs> coyote, but we'll figure some things out. Oh, I think I got an airbox for this. Hmm, we'll see. Uh, I mean, some of the first things that we already kind of figured out that will need to be rectified is the sound. Where are my keys? Where's the key? <laughs> Yeah, I love it. Still a flip key. I love this little intro, though. What the, what the scenes? Yeah, that's yeah, great. Mm. But yeah. Ah. First things first. This thing is too quiet. That's the first. Next, this thing is too high. That's the second. Third, these steel wheels got to go to. I mean, to see how high it is is, is crazy. Woo. It's got a little dirty on that drive too. Like when I think about the fact that I'm six foot four and I gotta lift my leg all the way up like that to get in, I'm like a full bend, that's too high, way too high. So we will be dropping her. We will be uh, throwing some wheels on. Uh, the wheels I wanna get, looks like uh, they won't be here for a few weeks. So I'll probably put some wheels on that I have uh, laying in the garage for now and we'll get some exhaust on her because this is quiet as heck like i i kept i was almost falling asleep like on a whole drive home it was just quiet but we'll have our mbrp exhaust we have uh some nice suspension upgrades from uh caltrax and uh vas so yeah we're gonna have some fun we're gonna definitely have some fun i mean i love the new infotainment center 
and uh, the digital dash. Like it keeps wanting to tell me whenever I don't have my seatbelt on and shit and whatnot. But yeah, man. 800 mile trip. It was actually a little over that, but average just about 22 miles a gallon. You gotta love that. That's pretty, uh, pretty good. Pretty good. It was a fun little drive. But uh, yeah. What are you guys' thoughts uh, on the new truck? How do you guys like the new trucks? I mean, like, even the cloth seats are better than they were on, like, the 1819. The 1819, the 18 to 20 cloth seats, I don't know, for some reason, they were a little different. These are nice, though. The entire interior is pretty nice. I like it. I like the way Ford kind of upscaled a lot of it from a uh, little premium models, like even this little insert here. I mean, don't get me wrong, we're gonna probably get like a Raptor steering wheel and stuff. But for the most part, for it to be a bare bones, it's pretty nice, pretty nice. Like, uh, what do we have? Let's see. Then it's even got the wireless CarPlay. That was pretty cool. I don't know why it didn't populate right now. Oh, I find use CarPlay, okay. Okay, I had to tell my phone to do it apparently. Oh, there we go. There we go. Ah, uh, look at that. Hopefully, nothing personal pops up. But yeah, yeah, you don't need no roller. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I enjoy this truck. And what are you guys' thoughts? As you see, I have one supercharger in the garage right now. I can make that work. Or do you guys want to see a Whipple on it? Or do you guys want to see uh, like a Hellion twin turbo kit? Let me know in the comments. And I guess for right now, this is Boosted F-150 out and we'll pick up, uh, we'll do some testing in the next video. Some quarter miles, some uh, zero to 60 and so on. See how she does. Probably test it on 93 and 85. But uh, yeah, if you enjoy what you're seeing, let me know. If you're not enjoying what you see, post in the comments some ideas of what, what will make it more enjoyable for you. But if you'd want to support the channel, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and uh, check out the merch on BoostedF150.com. But until the next time, which should be very soon, this is Boosted F150. Oh yeah, this truck will be at Carlisle at the MBRP booth on saturday june 1st so if you want to see me or see the truck you can come on out and we'll be there like i said it'll, it'll look a lot better than it looks right now right now it looks like it's ready to go off-roading then it'll at least look like a sports truck it won't be fast yet but it'll look like a sports truck <laughs> but boosted f-150 out enjoy your holiday <laughs>